Okay. Let's talk to the one, the only. Oh, so it still has his own. Oh yeah, I guess I already knew that. Hello, my friend. How unusual. The right master has kept me waiting for an inordinate amount of time. But instead of Ikesis, here comes the savior of the Clockwork City. That leads me to a single conclusion. The right master has not returned from the Dreaming Cave. Yeah, there's a funny reason. Well, maybe not so funny, but there's a reason behind that. The right master is kind of sort of dead, and that was at the hands of Nocturnal. That is unfortunate. I enjoyed my infrequent talks with Akesis. Ah, well. Now, if you don't mind, I have preparations to make before I take my leave. You're just gonna leave? But I thought you had some information to share with the right master. I am and I did. But the right master is no <clears throat> longer in a position to receive that information. Now, once again, I ask. This is related uh, to what happened in Clockwork City, isn't it? You have to tell me. A demand? Interesting. Your assumption is correct. Nocturnal's true purpose in invading my realm was to steal my secret for utilizing life energy as a power source. I suspect she plans to use my technique to amplify the Crystal Tower. What happens if the Crystal Tower is amplified? The Crystal Tower exists on multiple planes of reality simultaneously and possesses capabilities we do not fully understand. We must assume that Nocturnal's options are infinite. Wow. I suggest you find Valserin and inform her of this development. Nocturnal's no longer working with the other Daedric Princes. Wait, hold on. How can the Crystal Tower exist on multiple planes at the same time? The tower straddles every reality. Its true purpose remains lost to time, but I theorize it was created as a watchtower of sorts. A doorway to everywhere. It stands to reason, then, that the tower is the key to omnipresence. Oh. That is... scary, being everywhere at once? How does this help Nocturnal? Imagine a Daedric Prince who can exert influence throughout the multiverse at the exact same moment in time. Yeah, that's scary. Nocturnal could become infinite. If she accomplishes that, then her power would multiply accordingly. She would be without limits. Uh, Nocturnal is no longer with the other day, uh, no longer working with the other Daedric Princess. I find it hard <laughs> to believe that Nocturnal. Mafala and Vile worked together for as long as they did. Daedric princes aren't known for their willingness to share. Yeah, for real. With the heart, <laughs> Nocturnal moves one step closer to gaining control of the tower. Why is the heart so special? Transparent law. The crystal at the top of the crystal tower anchors its metaphysical structure to all realities. With the heart, she can restore the crystal utilize its capabilities, and make herself master of the tower. Okay, goodbye. Thank you, Sothacil. You actually were extreme. You need to go to Valser and study right now. There's a problem. Oh, no. Thank you, Darian. really tall. Knight of Meridia. I gotta hear this. And talk with me. Okay. I guess Darian and Sothasil are gonna have a very interesting conversation. Where the hell am I going? Valserin, study. Okay, it's just right here. So luckily we don't have to go very far. <coughs> Val, where are you at? Valserin, stop! You're going to kill him! Ugh, fine. Let our friend finish the interrogation. <laughs> Holy crap, she's really angry. This is ridiculous. I had no wish to see Aikesis harmed. He was my friend. He tried to save my daughter. If my wife wants a battle, though, tell her I'm ready to oblige. Well, Nocturnal be betrayed your prince uh, when she killed the right master and took the heart for herself. What are you talking about? 
Nocturnal, Methala, and Clavicus Vile are partners in this. That's why our three sects formed the Court of Bedlam. Three Daedric princes working together to make the world a better place. That's exactly what's gonna happen. My prediction was correct. So, uh, Nocturnal betrayed Mephala and Clavicus Vile. Clavicus Vile and Mephala are gonna be pissed because uh, Nocturnal betrayed her, uh, them, and they're gonna tag team with our help to go against Nocturnal. I'm almost certain of it. I saw Nocturnal banish Mephala and Vile from her realm. I don't think she's still part of your team. No, that can't be right. Why would she betray the triad like that? Unless... You must let me leave Arteum. I need to contact my prince. Tell me what the princes are, were originally planning, or I'll turn you back over to Valtering. Look, you have to let me return to Somerset and warn my prince. Let me go, and I'll convince Mathala to help you. You're going to need my prince if you really plan to take on Nocturnal and the Crystal Tower. Consider it a necessary alliance. I... I... I, I agree. First, tell me the Triad's original plan. Do we really need to go over this again? Mathala and the Triad sought places of power. The Clockwork City, the Crystal Tower. Anything they could use to change the rules of reality and remake the world. They wanted to make things better. Why would Nocturnal... Uh... How were the princes planning to enter the Crystal Tower? The Crystal Tower has its own protections, though we know those have been weakened with the removal of the Heart of Transparent Law. Still, we tried to acquire the Resolute Diamonds, the Sapiarch's keys to the tower. Uh, so with the Sapiarch's keys, Nocturnal can't enter. So without the Sapiarch's keys, Nocturnal can't enter the Crystal Tower. I didn't say that. Nocturnal has the heart, and her power as a Daedric Prince. It won't be easy, but she'll be able to enter the Crystal Tower. You, on the other hand, will need help. Which brings me back to my offer. Make an alliance with my Prince. So then what happens to the Court of Bedlam now? What Court of Bedlam? You dealt with Clavicus Vile's Earl, and I'm your prisoner. The court is in shambles, just like the Triad, if what you say is to be believed. But beware Nocturnal's champion. Her Earl won't fall as easily as Till Collar or I. Why would Nocturnal betray, uh, betray the Triad and take the heart? Because she's a patriot prince. I still only have your word that my prince has been betrayed. But I'll play along. Daedric princes aren't used to working together. If Nocturnal acquired the heart of transparent law, I could see how she might then decide to go her own way. So you think she'll use the heart to take control of the Crystal Tower? I was under the assumption that the Triad needed to work together to take control of the Crystal Tower. That was always my understanding. To attempt this on her own, Nocturnal must have found another source of power. Oh, that's scary. Val. Lathan is a shell of the man I fell in love with. We can't trust anything he says. No. We have to deal with this ourselves. And the key is reaching the Crystal Tower before Nocturnal can accomplish a similar feat. Sotosil says Nocturnal stole his secret for using uh, life energy as a source of power. Oh, yeah. Just another horrible bit of news in an otherwise horrible situation. All the more reason for us to get to the Crystal Tower. Last I heard, the Sapiarchs were attempting to rapidly attune two new Tower Sentinels. <coughs> we need to see if they succeeded. Uh, where are the Sapiarchs? Uh, where are the Sapiarchs attempting to attune to the ritual? Likely at the Crystal Tower Gatehouse, northeast of Lilandril. The ritual usually requires a full year and a day to complete, but the Sapiox reluctantly agreed to try to speed up the process. We should head out immediately. I'll meet you at the Crystal Tower gate ca uh, Gatehouse, then. Oriandra, tell Darian to meet us at the Crystal Tower Gatehouse. 
and keep an eye on Lathan while we're gone. So it looks like Darian is going on a little trip with us again. Exciting! Darian's the real G here. So I'm not the champion of anything because Darian is the champion of of Meridia. Uh, well, I'm uh, well, I'm just nothing. I'm nothing. I'm a I'm a big old nothing burger. Oh God, I gotta go far. It's okay. This is still faster than taking the alternate route of taking the portal. But we have it. There's luckily there's a way shrine right next to the location that we need to be at. So, I can literally just show up. Attention! Oh, wait. Class is now in session. Okay, there's an Home exit. Yep, right here. Okay, good. That is perfect. <clears throat> Man, I can't wait for High Isle tomorrow. crazy though because I, I record about a week in, a, in advance so when I'm recording High Isle will already be out about a week which is kind of funny you guys are all hearing my excitement and yet you guys are already playing at the time of <laughs> watching this video no more story oh. tell Raz what's happening at the crystal tower now climb the watchtower and see for yourself why did you tell him that his teeth were very sharp, Zambadoro. Uh. Um. I don't know what to expect from this. He said teeth. Or she said teeth. The crystal tower isn't supposed to do that, yes? Holy the crap. The tower started glowing right before you arrived. That's scary. Raz! Raz was nearby when he heard that the Sapiarchs were up to something at the Crystal Tower. This one didn't expect the tower to start glowing. I hope this is the work of the Sijix, yes? <laughs> no, this is something worse. Raz feels it in his paws. Yeah, uh, Nocturnal has the Heart of Transparent Law. This could be her doing. Daedric Princess. Raz hates those things. This one supposes that if Nocturnal takes control of the Crystal Tower, that would be bad for Somerset, yes? Uh, it'll be bad for everything in multiple realities. So the Sil uh, says she could use the Crystal Tower to become infinitely powerful. So that would be a yes on the bad for Somerset question. Exponentially, yes. Infinite. A number so big it makes Raz's head swim just trying to imagine it. So what should we do about this? You have a plan to save the day, yes? Uh, well, I mean, the Sapiarchs are trying to create a new pair of Sentinels so that we can enter the Crystal Tower. So that is what the Sapiarchs are doing at the Gatehouse. Raz should have known. Magic makes this one's first stand on end. All right, let's go to the Gatehouse and see how the Sapiarchs are coming along before something else happens to the Tower. Will do, let's go to the Gatehouse. The Tower, what's happening? Raz thinks this is bad. No shit! <laughs> what the Come, my friend, to the gatehouse! Can I just jump down? Not even close. Okay, Roz, I'm right behind you, my friend. Even though you're a cat and you can outrun me for miles, but it's okay. I'm coming. Slowly but surely. Dude, that freaking tower is gonna explode. Okay, can I just ride my horse there? Horse versus a cat. I don't even know where the cat is. Ooh, book. Come on, baby, let me in. Don't lose focus. The diamond key, this won't meld with me. Keep trying. We need to open these gates. Oh no, they're gonna die, aren't they? Time is running out. The Sapiox still haven't completed their ritual, and now Nocturnal has launched an attack against them. I sent Darian and Razumdar to defend the Sapiox, but the Daedra keep on coming. What do you need me to do? I'll stay here and try to assist with the ritual. You go and help Darian and Razumdar. We need to buy the Sapiox enough time to attune themselves to the Diamond Keys. 
Sounds like a plan. Tell me more about this ritual. While the Sapiocs here work to attune themselves to the Resolute Diamonds, other Sapiocs perform their parts of the ritual at the North and South platforms. Nocturnal has sent Daedra to disrupt the ritual platforms. You need to stop them. Okay, sounds like a plan. Oh! We have multiple players here. Don't worry, your savior's here. Rise will finish up here. I didn't even do anything, I just literally did one attack. Okay, sure. There's still another bastion that we need to get to. Oh, these are the safety arcs. Hey, Stereo! We'll deal with the Daedra. Yes, we will. Is that another player? Yes, it is. He's a Dragon Knight, too. Where are they at? No remorse. Done so. Go. I'll finish up here. Thank you. I mean, you're welcome. <clears throat> the energy. Something feels wrong. No. I, I think he's working. Ah! Damn it. No. <sighs> that was unexpected. Yes. The Sapiarchs are dead. Now what do we do? <laughs> Holy shit! I had a feeling they were gonna I die. This wasn't going to work. Speeding up the Sapiok ritual was a long shot at best. We should have had the Conclave working on a solution all along. The Sigix could have figured out how to tune the Resolute Diamonds. Isn't that still an option? You're right. Even without the Right Master, we can still do this. I can take the Resolute Diamonds and return to Arteum immediately. But... But, well, I'm kind of at a loss as to what we should do next. Um... I hate to say this, but I think Lathan is right. I think we need a help- I think we need the help of the other Daedric Princess. It's the only assured- well, none of this is assured. But I think this is our best chance. We could try Lathan's suggestion and seek help from Mephala and Clavicus Vile. No. That was a bad idea the first time Lathan suggested it. <laughs> I'll take the diamonds to Arteum. Okay, well fuck me. Immediately. Meanwhile, I need you to go to Eleanor and warn the proxy queen. She has to make sure Somerset is prepared, just in case. All right, I'll go to Eleanor and, war and ro warn the proxy queen. You know. Darian, gather the diamond keys. The Sigic Order will do what the Sapiox could not. No, I'm done with the Sigic Order. Too many deaths, not enough action. Rise will meet our friend in Alinor. You two do what you must. Huh. Darian. That's interesting. Well, there's, um... A way shrine right here, so there's no point of fast traveling and wasting money. I only have 170k. Oh, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> so close. Shut up, Bastion. I killed myself. It was suicide, okay? Any minute now. <clears throat> I'm surprised I survived the first drop, though. Bam! Okay, so now that we're here... We have to... Literally... Go through all these places. This place is like a maze. I think I think this one was easy enough to find, though. Thankfully. Who this? A thousand pardons, but the battle reeve requires your prompt appearance at oh, the Prophecy Queen's court. This one has seen many bizarre things working as an eye of the queen, but this may take the moon sugar cake. A strange dog walked up and spoke to Raz. A dog spoke to Clavicus Vile. A dog spoke to you? That is what Raz said. A dog. It's Barbus. It spoke words as clear as day. It gave me a message to give to you. The dog said you should meet it in the gardens because it had something important to tell you. I'll find the strange dog. You go warn the proxy queen. Yes, 
Yes, Raz will go warn the Praxy Queen. That would be for the best. Just be careful, my friend. This one does not trust dogs, especially ones that talk. Talking animals, so unnatural, yes? I wonder where you... Why you hate dogs, first and foremost. Second of all, you are a talking animal. You're a freaking talking cat. Okay? Yeah. It, it's gotta be Barbus, man. Hello. It's definitely Barbus. The faithful companion of Clavicus Vile. <gasps> you again? Alright, follow me. Newcomer, are you ready to administer justice? Ah, uh, Barbus, for being a dog, you're really slow. Oh, my, am I in Eleanor? Yes, I am. Where is he taking me? To speak in private. Oh, I thought this was a cliff. Hey. It's me. Vile told me to find the mortal flea that continues to pester him and deliver a message. He's terrible with mortal names. But <laughs> I immediately thought of you. Glad to see that my intuition's as sharp as ever. Oh, yeah. I've got a message for you. What does Clavicus Vile want? My master's less than pleased with the way Nocturnal treated him. He wanted to be the first one to betray the Triad. Look, I want <laughs> to make sure to tell you he's not upset about the whole Vivet thing. At least, not anymore. What does Clavicus Vile want uh, to talk about? Probably wants to make some kind of a deal. That's his bread and butter, you know. You can do what you want. But I figure you're even more angry with Nocturnal for the way she evaporated your friend and took the heart of transparent law. Uh, well, you're not wrong there. So, how do I talk to Clavicus Vile? He told me you could find him in the caves just north of the city. Just be nice to him when you get there. He's still a little upset over how the triad broke up and all that. Of course. Uh, I'll go to the cage and talk to Clavicus Vile then. My master has been livid since Nocturnal betrayed him. That's why I've been keeping my distance. Do me a favor and try not to make him any more irritated when you talk to him. I'd hate to see something bad happen to you. Oh wait, no I wouldn't. Tell me more about him. What? You never heard of the Daedric Prince of Bargains? The ruler of the Fields of Regret and the Lord of Tricks and Wishes? Well, don't tell him that. He's upset enough as it is. <laughs> he had such high hopes until <coughs> they Excuse me. their partnership. Remind me, who are you again? I'm Barbus. Sure, I may look like a talking dog, but I'm actually a talking dog. <laughs> I'm my master's faithful hound and servant, although I have a tendency to annoy my prince. Not sure why that is. Anyway, this is just one of my favorite forms. Okay, fair enough. So now, we have to go to the caves up north, he said. It looks more northeast than anything to me, but sure, why not? Let's, let's do that. How the hell do I get out of here? This place is so confusing, I swear. Is it this way? Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, I might as well grab this while I'm here. <coughs> How far is it? Caves to the north. That is not north, that's definitely northeast. I swear, Barbus does not know, does not have a good sense of direction. Just saying. Um... Uh, can I even go through here? So these are friendlies. That might, that's a good thing. Wait. No, that goes east. Actually. Actually, I think I need to go back. I'm so confused right now. Okay. Let me take a look at the map. No, there's no way. I have to go through here. 
Let's go through the eastern gate. And then from the eastern gate, it should just be a drop there, maybe? I don't know. We'll figure this out. If I can even go through here. Yes, I can. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm going to be 100% honest. I'm just kind of winging it at this point. I think I'm actually here. I think I figured it out. Yay! The vaults of... Sure. He... Hi... Higher iron way? Whatevs. <clears throat> do we have a map? Yes, Look we do. That. You can follow directions. My master's waiting for you deeper inside. First and foremost, I can follow directions, but I can also understand things. It says below. Because you gave me the wrong directions, buddy. Uh-oh. Sit your butt down. Oh, you guys want some too? It's okay. Dunzo. <coughs> oh yeah, this is definitely a Clavicus vile location. Why are we fighting his people then? If we're here on his request. Please, Master! Mercy! No! Even in death they serve. So... The hound found you. Good. Ooh, I didn't mean to click that. Don't let husks trouble you. I needed to vent my frustrations, and my loyal followers were close at hand. You wanted to talk to me? Yes. Yes, I did. I assumed barbers would have made that clear. I admire your persistence almost as much as I hate the fact that you constantly oppose me. Still. Nocturnal couldn't dispatch you, which indicates you may be useful to me after all. What are you talking about? We have a common cause now, you and I. A common enemy. Nocturnal turned her back on our alliance. She betrayed the Triad. Worse, she betrayed me. Consider my next words carefully before you respond. I can grant you access to the Crystal Tower. I'm definitely listening. Why should I trust anything you say? You killed my court of Bedlam, Earl. You dispatched our pet sea slow. I hate you, but <laughs> I also respect you. And I need your help to gain vengeance against Nocturnal. So I ask you this. How could you not trust me? Isn't the enemy of my enemy my friend? Calm down, Winston Churchill. All right, so tell me how I can enter the court, uh, the Crystal Tower. Upstairs, you'll find a key. With it, your Sigic friends can get you to my realm, where I can direct you to the Crystal Tower. Getting inside, though, for that, you'll need the Resolute Diamonds. Unfortunately, I can't help you with that. How can I reach the Crystal Tower by going through your realm? Haven't you learned anything? No. The Crystal Tower exists in all realms. In my realm, however, there is no gatehouse to block your way. Just the tower's own defenses. And for that, unfortunately, you'll need the diamond keys. You know, that makes 100% sense. Uh, the diamond keys need to be attuned at the tower sentinels. Uh, and the tower sentinels are dead. <coughs> no problem, certainly. But one I'm sure you can overcome. Perhaps another prince will be willing to help you. I leave the details of that to you. Mephala. Just remember this favor I have provided when you restore the tower and save your beloved Nern. It's gonna be Mephala. She's the only one, the only other one that got betrayed by Nocturnal. And what do you get in return for this favor? I'm sure something of value will suggest itself when the time is right. I promise that whatever I ask for as compensation, it will not unduly cost you. Anyway, no more than you can afford. 
On that, you have my word. Okay, goodbye. Huh. Interesting development. Oh, we're gonna have to fight this guy. Ha ha! Oh, you guys want some too? Okay. I'm trying to keep the combat to a minimum. Fields of regret safe house. Or safe box. Can you hear me? I have troubling news. Uh-huh. I was about to say you're gonna talk? The golden knight has taken matters into his own hands. He set Leighton free and returned with him to Somerset. Well, there goes our second alliance. Uh, why would Darien say Lathan free and go with him to Somerset? <clears throat> Who knows what all that time in Meridia's realm did to Darien's mind. He couldn't have gotten off the island without Lathan's help, and Lathan needed his assistance to circumvent the wards placed upon him. I need you to find out what they're up to. Where did they go? They sensed Darien in Somerset's northwest region. But Lathan's magic prevents me from identifying a more precise location. Please, I need your help. The Resolute Diamonds are proving more difficult to unravel than I imagined, and there's no one else. Okay, I'll look for Darien and Lathan in northwestern Somerset. I'll find you as soon as the Diamond Keys are ready to use. Okay, so at least she's attuning that right now. Where am I? I'm way down here. Uh, I could go here and go north or there. Yeah, I'm gonna go here and go north. I'm just gonna fast travel just to make it quick. Is there... Yeah, screw it. Whatever, it's too late. It'll. This is, this is the fastest way to get there. Where am I? <sighs> Oh, I have that mount. Uh, that's not gonna work. There was a chest there I could have gotten, but oh well. The other player beat me to it. This place is gorgeous, man. Look at that. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Hey, you can see the crystal tower from here. That's awesome. Ah, it's a salamander. Okay, so... How do I get around all these rocks without having to dismount my pony? There we go. <clears throat> how far are we? We're almost there. Hey, we found road and spiders. That should mean we're in Mephala's region, right? Maybe? Cathedral of Webs. Yeah, that's exactly what it means. Oh, God. I have fallen victim to a trap. They could find us at any moment. Something's wrong. Wrong? Why doesn't that surprise me? Haha! Hey, my friend. Now, don't get mad, but there's a perfectly good explanation why Lathan and I busted out of Arteum and came to this charming little hideaway. Well, first and foremost, I'm actually on your side on this. I think this makes the most sense. Uh, I mean, Clavicus Vile summed it up pretty nicely. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, right? If we're fighting, going up against an enemy that's extremely powerful, we need extremely powerful allies, even though they're technically our enemies. I'm listening, Tarion. The intentions of the Sigics are good. But we're running out of time. From what we saw at the gatehouse, Nocturnal has already taken control of the Crystal Tower. Drastic action is called for, and Lathan's agreed to put us in contact with Mephala. Is that really such a good idea, though? Not you, too. <laughs> I got enough doubt and dirty looks back in Arteum. Look, Mephala was betrayed by Nocturnal. It stands to reason she might want to help us. And we could certainly use the power since I still can't make contact with Meridia. You're right. Making an alliance uh, with the betrayed prince is our best option right now. I knew I could count on you. As for Lathan, you should talk to him. 
But we can make him pay for his crimes later. Right now, we need him to help us or we could lose everything. Will do. Hey, Lathan Statham. If you want to return me to Arteum, I won't resist you. But first, I need to find out if the rest of Mythala's followers are safe. Let me learn their fate, and then I'll submit myself to your mercy. Darian said you were willing to put us in contact with Mephala. I am, <clears throat> but I'm surprised that you'd go along with that. If we can get inside and reach Mephala's shrine, I can attempt to make contact with my prince. So you believe that Nocturnal betrayed your prince now? Not exactly, but it's obvious to me that you believe that's what's happened. I need to see for myself. In any event, there's no harm in approaching Mathala's shrine. I'm just a little concerned that it took me so long to open this door. Why does the door concern you? It should have been a simple matter <coughs> to identify myself and unlock the door. But the spells in place resisted me. It's as if I've lost my status as Mathala's Earl. Or as if someone or something interfered with the place's defenses. The latter is more probable, to be honest. So how did you get off Arteum? I spent years <clears throat> on that damnable island. Do you think the Sijic's magic could long hold someone who knows the intricacies of the place? With the right master's death, the order is in chaos. Only Val even realized I was missing. Um... Hmm. How did Nocturnal breach the Crystal Tower without uh, the Resolute Diamonds? I'm just <clears throat> guessing, mind you. But I imagine someone with the abilities of a Daedric Prince, who possesses the heart of transparent law, could walk into the Crystal Tower as easily as you or I could cross the threshold of an inn. Okay. Well, really quick. Uh, Vile offered us a way to reach the Crystal Tower. Can Mephala help us use the Resolute Diamonds? My prince deals in secrets and hidden lore. If anyone can activate the keys to the Crystal Tower, she can. That was our original plan, before you intervened. After I acquired the diamonds from the Sapiarchs, I was supposed to bring them to Mephala. Good to know, thank you. So I guess we're going into the quote-unquote Cathedral of Webs. That sounds, uh, a love, like a lovely place. I fucking hate spiders, man. <laughs> Excuse my language. Yep, they're all dead. How did this happen? Someone my killed them. should have been safe within these walls. Nocturnal's been eliminating the sex of the other princes. Are you surprised she'd turn on her former allies? I recruited most of these men and women. I was responsible for them. I wonder what... Scout ahead and find the shrine. I'll stay with Lathan until he's ready to move on. Let me see what he has to say about this. Lathan needs a moment to come to grips with what happened here. Go find the shrine. I'll make sure he's alright and we'll catch up with you. Okay, we will do. He looks so freaking cool. I love, love that outfit, dude. It looks so good. Oh, hello. So it looks like Mephala's, I mean, not Mephala's, uh, Nocturnal's people are still here. Gloam is from her realm. Okay, so, do, yeah, uh, but my question was gonna be if both of these lead down to the same location, and it does. What did I get hit with? It's blasphemous, I say. It pains me that it had to end this way, but my mistress will not be denied. Butcher! How dare you pretend to care about the men and women you slaughtered! Every action I performed was in the service of Nocturnal's grand plan. Lathan, she has my Dawnbreaker. Ask her if she'll kindly return it. <laughs> I don't think that's how it's gonna work this time around. I never trusted Nocturnal's Earl. A dark elf in the court of Bedlam. It was unprecedented. Her daggers are as sharp as her temper, so we must tread carefully here. 
What do you suggest? Nocturnal's champion is reckless and quick to anger. We can take advantage of that. Perhaps get her to slip up and reveal what's going on here. There's a scent of magic that makes my blood run cold. What do you mean? Nocturnal's magic is at work here. See how the Yagra have mutated into creatures of shadow? Yeah, Glom. We need to follow Nocturnal's Earl. Harry her. Make her so mad she tells us everything. Hopefully, one of us will live long enough to use the information. All right, we'll give. Uh, uh, let's give that a try. Champion of Nocturnal, what magic is this? I've never seen anything <clears throat> like it. This was always the plan, Nocturnal's plan. So Nocturnal did betray my mistress. Your mistress is weak. Come with me, and I'll show you what true power looks like. Leave the no. Come on, we can't let them get away. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Lathian's gonna end up betraying us, isn't he? Honestly, wouldn't surprise me if he did. I kinda hope not, because I kind at this point I kinda want him to redeem himself. Oh, hello. Glow Monstrosity? Not a very intelligent name. Nice. I can't believe I'm only at 33. You know what? I'm going to use this for a little while just to get a little bit of XP. Hey, you, come over here. That hurt a little bit. Oh no, I hate being super slow. Ha! Ah. <clears throat> Is there something else? You! Is it- can't you- I have a cost- a uh, costume of uh, that Darian is wearing. But can't you get a motif like that too? Pretty sure you can. Sit your butt down. Your master is here. Oh my god. Well, we're on the other side, so that's that's good. Let's check out the map. Okay, so this just goes around in a circle. Sit down. Who do you think you are trying to stand up against me? Come on. Get out of there. Shut up, Bastion. I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this for 15 minutes. It's just magic. kidding. It destroys everything. What good is power if there's nothing left to rule? This is what the court wanted all along. An end to the old ways. A new beginning. <clears throat> I won't be party to the death of innocence. I won't. Let him go. Be silent, knight, or I'll let you taste the blade you once carried. I wish to speak to your friend now. Of course. Look how the pearls shimmer with dark energy. Isn't it beautiful? My mistress offers a small mercy. Allow her to finish her work, and she'll make the deaths of the Sijiks fast and painless. But if you interfere, you will all suffer before you die. What are you doing with the abyssal pearls? The sea slow trinkets. It was an easy matter for my mistress to alter the magic. To use their ability to siphon life energy and funnel it into the crystal tower. In the end, your own world will provide the power that spells its doom. Uh, that's what this is all about. Nocturnal wants to destroy Nern. Nern's destruction isn't the goal. It's just a means to an end. The Crystal Tower grows more powerful with every iota of energy produced by Nern's death. And with that power, Nocturnal will remake all reality into a perfect darkness. So why betray the other princes? Mephala and Clavicus Viola are fledglings compared to my mistress. 
Nocturnal existed before this reality was even imagined. And she will ride its destruction into the next. This isn't an end. It's a new beginning. I'll find a way to stop you. Good luck with that. Now stay out of the way or death will be the least of your concerns. Hey! She released them! Nocturnal must pay for betraying my mistress. But the magic of the abyssal pearls appears to do more than just siphon our life energy. It obscures my connection to Mathala. This shrine may be blocked, but I may know another way. Don't you need the shrine to contact Mephala, though? While a consecrated <clears throat> shrine offers the best conduit to a Daedric prince, there are other means. In the back chambers, I have a way to communicate privately with my prince. I should be able to open a connection there. Will Nocturnal's Earl try to stop us? She's gone. I no longer sense her presence here. The Abyssal Pearls, however. The court helped seed them throughout Somerset. I can tell the Sigics where to find them before Nocturnal activates them all. First, though, we must contact Mathala. Okay, let's go. Darian, go the other way and meet us in the back chambers. We want to make sure Nocturnal's Earl didn't leave us any surprises. I'll go. But if this is just a ploy so you can betray us, you'll have to deal with me. Stay safe, Darian, my friend. Uh, do I just go? I guess so. <clears throat> there he is. Okay, come on, guys. We got to go talk to Mephala. The most disgusting of all Daedric Princes, in my opinion. Mainly because I freaking despise spiders. Destroy that oh. creature. And then I can contact my prince. Will do. There you are. This place is meridious light. What is that thing? Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Meet me outside, and we'll make contact with my prince. So this is the tiny little shrine that he was talking about. It's literally a tiny little. Uh, Crystal or something of the sort. Okay, well. Let's, I guess we're going to talk to her outside, perhaps? I don't, I don't, I, do, I just don't know. Where is he? Where am I going? Oh, he's right here. Pathala, appear before your faithful servant. I answer my Earl's summons only to find him with these unworthies. Do you betray me too, Lathan? Nope. Never, my prince. We share a common enemy now. Please, talk to them and hear what they have to say. So, the mortal who opposed me wants to speak. If what you say doesn't interest me, <coughs> I will order Lathan to kill you. Nocturnal threatens all of us. I've made a deal with Clavicus Vile. Now I want to negotiate with you. And what did the cowardly Prince of Bargains offer you? Was it something so intriguing that you would risk my wrath as well? Speak before my patience wears thin. Vile offered passage. To the Crystal Tower through his realm, but we need to attune the Diamond Keys. That's where you come in. You would challenge Nocturnal in the Crystal Tower? Since gaining the Heart of Transparent Law, the tower serves as an extension of her own realm. It amuses me that you want to thwart her plans. She'll destroy you, of course, but I am still amused. Can you make the Diamond King, uh, Kings keys work so we can enter the Crystal Tower? Towel? Tower? How desperate you must be to offer the very relics I once sought. I will think upon your request. Before you enter Vile's realm, have my Earl contact me again. At that time, I will either help you, or I won't. As is my prerogative. 
I mean, I, you're not wrong. We'll contact you again when we're ready. That's it? A maybe? <laughs> I'll return to our Artaeum with Darien and tell them what we learned. <laughs> Meet us there. <laughs> okay. I love Darien, my guy, I swear. Alright, let's just go straight there. Is there a... Where am I anyways? Yeah, no, there's no way shrine close. So I'm making the right decision and just straight up porting straight there. <clears throat> We have got to be at the end of this. We're making deals with Daedric Princes just because they were betrayed. Val, the, the quest says, talk to Valserine. Val Valserine, she's not going to be happy with the direction in which we're taking this. But it's everyone against her at this point. We failed. The Conclave, despite its best <coughs> efforts, wasn't able to attune the Resolute Diamonds. It's okay. We can't use the Diamond Keys to enter the Crystal Tower. But what about you? Were you able to track down Darien and the traitor, Lathan? Yeah. And we actually have a solution. Potential solution, actually. Since we only got a maybe. Uh, I found them. Lathan helped me uh, <coughs> determine Nocturnal's true plan. She wants to remake reality. Using the Crystal Tower... And Sotha Seal's technique for utilizing life energy? Then we really are doomed. Without a way into the Crystal Tower, we can't even attempt to challenge Nocturnal, let alone try to stop her. Clavicus Vile offer, uh, offered to let us use his realm to reach the Crystal Tower. Is that what the Sigic Order is reduced to? Forced to accept help from the same Daedric Princes that got us into this trouble in the first place? Yes. Still, yes, it is. getting to the tower won't matter if we can't use the diamond keys to get inside. Funny thing about that, Mephala might be able to help us attune the Resolute Diamonds. I opposed this line of reasoning when Lathan first suggested it, as bargains with the princes don't often end well. But what choice do we have? None. Still, thanks for finding a way forward. While it's a long shot, at least it represents a chance. This is true. I gotta make room real quick. There we go. I'll start making <coughs> preparations for the Dreaming Cave. In the meantime, Sotha Seal asked me to send you to his study the moment you arrived. I'm not sure what he wants, but you should tell him about your interactions with the betrayed princess. Yeah, of course. Uh, do you know why Sotha Seal wants to see me? Something to do with the Crystal Tower, no doubt. Sotha Seal has never been forthcoming. Though for some reason, it appears that he's taken a liking to you. But tell me, what of Darien and Lathan? Darien is on his way back, and he brings Lathan with him. Both decided to return? I'm surprised. Meridia's knight has a stake in this, but why would Lathan volunteer to return? It makes no sense. Well, go and talk to Sothaseel. Perhaps he can shed light on what we can expect in the Crystal Tower. I'll talk to Sotha Seal. Sotha Seal waits for you in his study. Tell him about the alliance with the Daedric Princes, and ask him if he knows what we can expect to face inside the Crystal Tower. I'll wait for Darien and Lathan to return. If Vile and Mephala open the way, what's our plan for ass uh, assaulting the Crystal Tower? We'll want to send a small force, but leave the majority of the Conclave behind, in case the efforts in the Crystal Tower fail. Leave the details of that to me. I'm not sure how we're going to stop Nocturnal, though. Maybe Sotha Seal has some ideas. Yeah, well, let's see what he has to say. Where is he? Okay. Talk to Sotha Seal. I like Sotha Seal, man. He's cool. Hello, my friend. The Tribunal has been warned. They will make preparations in case the efforts here fail. I doubt that even they can weather the resulting storm if the worst comes to pass. As I calculated, your actions will determine the outcome of these events. Is that why you sent for me? In part. <coughs> determining the possible consequences of disparate actions becomes easier when studying the primary catalyst. You have a tendency to fill that role in almost all situations. 
What happened after the Sapiarchs failed to attune the diamonds? Well, I made a deal with Vile to reach the Crystal Tower, and Mephala is considering attuning the diamonds. A bold move. Still, I see the logic. Who better to send against their betrayer than the mortal who bested their plans at every turn? If Mafala agrees, you'll be able to assault the tower. I just wish I knew what Nocturnal hopes to accomplish. For real. Nocturnal plans to use the Crystal Tower uh, and the Sea Slow's abyssal, abyssal Pearls to remake reality. That was really hard for me to say for some reason. I'm not sure that's within the capability of the Crystal Tower. But if she uses my technique for siphoning life energy to supercharge the tower... Hmm. An interesting application of the magic of the Abyssal Pearls. It could work, I suppose. Hold on. Time out. What do you mean? If Nocturnal uses the life force of Nern to increase the power of the Crystal Tower, she can then use the same technique to steal the energy of the Daedric Princes as she invades their realms. Infinite connections. Infinite power. Ingenious. So... What do we do to stop this? Gather your companions and meet me in the Dreaming Cave. We must contact Vile and Mafala so you can enter the Crystal Tower, recover the heart of transparent law, and repair the Tower Crystal. That will require a burst of divine energy, though. We need divine energy to repa uh, repair the transparent... Transparent Law Crystal. Transparent Law, the crystal at the top of the tower, is as much metaphysical as it is tangible. Only divine energy can reconnect the heart and make the crystal whole. Of course, Nocturnal is aware of this as well. So why does that matter? If Nocturnal performs the restoration and once again merges the heart with Transparent Law, her connection to the tower will become unbreakable. She truly will ascend to an infinite state of being. So what do you suggest I do? You must enter the Crystal Tower and recover the heart. Then find a relic filled with divine energy and repair transparent law. Only then will the Tower's innate defenses re-engage and repel Nocturnal's influence. In theory, anyway. Okay, my friend. Thank you. Thank you for that insight. Most of that, most of that we already knew. A good chunk of that we already knew. So we didn't really learn anything. Wait, it says talk to Valserine. Where? Uh, okay. So first things first. While we're in here, we should talk to... I guess Darien's the one that's in here. So Darien returned. Ah, there he is. must be wine drinkers because this ale they make tastes awful. <laughs> I love wine. That's what I, I drink. Nathan back and what does Valserin do? He sends me off without a word or a thank you. So when do we head out to assault the Crystal Tower? No one tells me anything around here. Uh, we're heading to the Dreaming Cave. Hopefully Vile and Mephala will honor their end of the bargain. Well, to be fair, Mephala never agreed to anything. She was a maybe. I knew <clears throat> I could count on you. You're always straight with me. I appreciate that. Still, the last time I went off to fight a Daedric Prince, there was a celebration. A party! <laughs> this time, it's just us. <laughs> you're, obsessed be uh, you're upset because no one is coming? Or celebrating? What? No, no. No, I didn't mean it like that. I just mean back then, there were more familiar faces. Friends who I knew had my back. Charging into battle with allies I trusted. There was a comfort in that. Here, I'm practically a stranger. I mean, you can count on me, my friend. And trust me, I am grateful for that. You're kind of like me in a lot of ways, aren't you? An outsider caught up in things we don't fully understand? Whatever happens, when this is over, let me buy you a drink. Then we can have a proper celebration. Okay, sounds like a plan. Oh, we're definitely going to be doing that. Uh, Just to be clear, nobody else is in here. Okay, Darian, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go talk to our other companions, Razumdar and Val. I guess we'll talk to Raz first. 
It is the closest to me right now anyway, so... Makes sense. Wait, Roz is here? I just realized this. How did Roz get here? This is our payoff. Roz is impressed. And truly frightened by the very strange sky. Ah, here comes your friend now. Just remember, you were never here. The Conclave isn't fond of visitors. For a place that doesn't like visitors, Raz thinks it's pretty busy, yes? Raz <coughs> never had the urge to travel to Oblivion, or visit a magically displaced island. But now Raz feels like the cat who caught the farmer's prized turkey. <laughs> it is good to see you safe, my friend. Now, tell Raz you have a way to save Somerset. I do, actually. We have a plan, but it involves a deal I made with Clavicus Vile and Mephala. Raz knew that strange talking dog would lead you into trouble. Do you really think we can trust those Daedric princes? No. No. Too late for that. Tell Raz the rest of your plan, yes? Well, we're gonna uh, uh, assault the Crystal Tower, tower and stop Mephala, or Nocturnal. Foolish, but brave. Also very foolish. Raz has walked into certain death many times and emerged with his fur intact. Mostly. But Raz knows why you do this thing. Raz will not try to talk you out of this. He will instead give you happy news. You have happy news? Raz warned Queen Irene. Good. She has promised to contact the <coughs> leaders of the other alliances and assemble a mighty force to deal with this threat. Which brings us to the not so happy news. They disagreed. And what's the not so happy news? The mighty force won't reach Somerset for quite some time. Oh, Raz could tell you about prevailing winds, unusual storms, and other factors beyond our control, but it amounts to the same thing. We're on our own, my friend. Okay, makes sense. Uh, are you going to come with me to the Crystal Tower? Not this time. <laughs> Raz must go back and lead the Divine Prosecution in defense of Somerset. If the Crystal Tower keeps exploding, we will evacuate the island and save as many people as we can. May the luck of Joan and Jod be with you, my friend. Take care of yourself. If I don't see you again, it was nice knowing you. Mainly because I'm probably going to be the one that dies, but it's okay. Because I asked for this. Well, I didn't ask him to die. You know what? Never mind. I'll just, I'll just stay quiet. Why is it Wait, that's not it. Adventure always seems to be a long ride off. I don't know what you're talking about, Bastion. We're already here. I think. Oh, there's two people here. You are a terrific father to our daughter, Lathan. <gasps> I'll never forget that. You were always Elderway's hero, Val. I envied the way she looked up to you. I'm sorry, Lathan. I should have been there with you. With her. At the end. You were trying to save her. I know that. It was just... Damn it. We need to win this, Val. So they made up? Things will never be the same between me and Nathan again. But I think we understand each other a little better now. Funny how the approaching end of the world has a way of putting everything into perspective. Are you ready to do this? I've been a member <coughs> of the Sigic Order for more years than I can remember. But this is the first time since my daughter's illness that I've been truly frightened about what's to come. So this is your first time facing the end of the world? The world ends all the time. It's just that I'm more accustomed to that being a personal event and not a shared experience. The world ended when the Right Master died, for example, but only from his perspective. If Nocturnal remakes reality. Look, let's let's go to the Dreaming Cave and make sure that doesn't happen. You have a way of instilling confidence, my friend. You're similar to the right master in that regard. If we can't have him at our side for this, I'm glad to at least have you. I just hope we can see our way through this. I'll meet you at the cave. Goodbye, my friend. This is going to be interesting. This shrine, <clears throat> Val and I built it for our daughter after she died. High elves don't bury their dead. But we needed something to remember her by. She loved climbing this tree before the illness took her. I forgot how beautiful it was. Can I trust you? 
With the Sigic Order and my mistress Mythala aligned toward a common goal, I'm feeling practically giddy with anticipation. But never fear. I'll re-establish contact with my prince when called upon to do so. I gave you my word. The court offered me a purpose after my life lost its meaning. Our princes promised to remake the world, turn it into a better place, a paradise, and they were going to elevate the Altmer back to their status as gods. Suffering would come to an end. Not in the least. Remaking the world to eliminate death and disease is one thing. Destroying everything to turn yourself into a being of infinite power. Now that's something else entirely. Mathala will see that and provide the help you need. Talk to me when you're ready. This is the moment of truth. Once we begin, nothing can stop the rush to the grand conclusion. Make sure you have everything you need before I activate the Dreaming Cave. I'll lead you through the Fields of Regret to reach the Crystal Tower. Hey, that dog just talked! I can establish contact with Mythala. She's ready to appear if you're willing to lower the defenses. Oriandra, Valserin, assist me. Let us open a path and not keep the Prince of Secrets waiting. So the seal, the false guard. I should have expected to see you. Lady Mafala, will you honor the agreement you made with this mortal? I am always true to my word. Now, send forth a mortal who consistently avoids the tangles of my webs. We have much to discuss. You are strangely consequential for a mortal. In my calculations, I somehow overlooked your significance. And yet, that has worked to my advantage. For now, we have a chance to thwart Nocturna, and that will be something to savor. I can attune the Diamond Keys, but that won't be enough to keep you safe. Using the secrets she stole from So the Seal, Nocturnal has infused the Crystal Tower with boundless energy. It makes the tower's connection to reality increasingly unstable. I must turn the Resolute Diamonds into more than just keys. They must become an anchor, something to lock you to this reality. Without such a weight, you will be lost as the tower rapidly shifts from one plane to the next. And in exchange... Two trivial concessions, nothing more. First, just as Vile senses Hound, I want you to take my Earl Lathan into the Crystal Tower. And second, I wish a private meeting with So the Seer after reality has been saved. Do we have a deal? Two resolute diamonds, 
imbued with the power of Mathala. Now they merge into a single gem. One resolute anchor to serve as both key and safeguard. Do not lose this. Only its presence will keep you and your companions anchored to this reality. Remember, if any of you stray too far from the protection of the resolute anchor, you'll be lost in the nothingness between realities. And know that I will be watching. Did she do that? I hate being spied on. Now it's my turn. Let me use the gift my master gave you, and I'll get you to the Crystal Tower. Get the heart and restore the crystal known as Transparent Law. But remember, you'll need a relic of divine energy to accomplish that. Nathan. Promise me you'll keep them safe. I promise, Val. Oriandra, if I die saving the world, know that our brief time together has made me a better man. What are you talking about? Shh, 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 shh. It's all right to cry. I'll do my best to return to you. I promise. What just happened? What's that crazy knight talking about? Bed Nocturnal knows we're coming. So much for the element of surprise. Where's Vile's hand? Has he abandoned us already? Other and bones. Nocturnal sends creatures into our realm. Not while Barbus is on guard! Scoffin! Come forth! Where are you going, creature? I promised to show you the way. There, follow that path. That's the way to the tower. Now, I have a realm to defend. I don't think I like Barbus very much. Change your strategy. think we're depending on the actions of mortals. Oh well, let's talk. Nocturnal dares much attacking my master's realm. But here you are, safe and sound. The Crystal Tower. At least it's the version that exists in the fields of regret. Now, I really need to get back to barking and biting Nocturnal's minions. Well, that depends on how good Mafala's magic is. If you're attuned to the Resolute Anchor like she promised, then the doors to the Crystal Tower will open at your approach. If not, you'll more than likely die on the doorstep. That was the plan, yes. But plans change when Nocturnal attacked my master's realm. Now Clavicus Vile wants me to repel those invaders and start preparing contingencies in case you fail. Understand, I have no contingencies, so try not to fail. 
I've never been inside a tower that straddles every reality, but I expect you're going to have to go up, up, up. If you do reach the Night Mistress, fight her once for me. Remember Lafau's warning. This place looks surprisingly intact. The interior and the exterior of such places rarely coincide perfectly. I pity the Satyarchs that were present when Nocturnal unleashed this magic. Dead end? Did we make a wrong turn? It's moving. Fascinating. It appears to be reconfiguring itself. Then let's get moving before the tower remakes this platform out of existence. I expect we'll see more evidence of this malleable nature the higher we climb. Look at this place. Part of the ceiling has fallen in. Yes, but what happened stay, to the Shadow Sapiens? They were thick as crows on the lower Really? Levels. A walking volcano? I don't know how you entered the tower, but you must get out of here. She's still alive. We have to help her. No, stay back. The relic that protects me, it's failing. You can't help me. She's right. Look how she's starting to fade. Please, before I am lost, tell me. What happened? I deserve to know why the tower has done this. Nocturnal? So I am to die as a pawn in some game played by a Daedric Prince? I'm sorry, but you've reached a dead end. The explosions, the exit is blocked by debris. There's no way to move it. You should turn back and flee. I was just doing my studies, like any other day. And then the tower began to shake suddenly. I heard screams, such horrible screams. I watched my friends just cease to exist, and in their places these monstrosities stood. I... I don't know. I grabbed this staff in hopes of balancing myself from the swaying of the tower. There was a flash of light, and I... I was alone. But I'm so scared. The staff's magic is fading. Oh, gods, I'm going to end up like them. The old ballista. If you could get it working again, it might be strong enough to punch through the debris. Oh, gods, the relic. I'm... I'm not ready to die. I don't want to die! Let me help you. Clear your mind. It's so hard... to concentrate. Think of your loved ones. Picture their faces and my magic will help you. I see them. The pain... is fading. I can see. She... she's gone. Her last moments were peaceful. 
I saw to that. The magic that held back the shadows is gone. They'll be upon us before we know it. Dying Sapiark was right. That is this ballista will pack. It's not broken, it's just missing a few parts. Uh, look around while I get the rest of it back in working condition. easy. That should do it. Just need a crank, a rope, and some ballista bolts. That should do it. Just need a crank, a rope, and some ballista bolts. That should work. Let's blast the way out of here. Ta 
how to clear a path. I need one of those. Yes, that must control the gate across the chamber. It appears to require a key, however. Down there, that looks like a likely candidate. Where did she come from? Nocturnal started to repair transparent law. Soon none of this will matter. No! You mustn't do this. You can't reason with crazy, Lathan. Besides, we've got company. How observant tonight. I thought we were the same. No matter. Your quest ends here. Enough! Just hand over the damn key. She's just trying to slow us down. Meet up at the gate pedestal. Try the key pedestal. She did something to the controls. The gate won't open. We must be nearing the pinnacle of the tower. That's why Nocturnal sent her champion to slow us down. Nocturnal's Earl damaged this mechanism beyond repair. Even if we had acquired the key, I'm not sure it would have opened the gate. Sapient magic is powerful but not as powerful as the magic of the Sigic Order. Since we don't have the key, I can try to overcome the damaged mechanism and then follow after you. I can operate the mechanism manually from here. Then, once you and Darian are through the gate, I can teleport across and make it to the other side before it snaps back shut. It's opening! Go on! I can't hold this for very long! Gate! Nathan, watch out! I have to stop you here. All of you. I wondered if you'd actually show yourself instead of just projecting menacing images. A closed gate won't save them, Lathan. No, but this will keep you what? busy for a time. No! Where'd they go? Is Lathan... gone? That should keep her busy, for a short time at least. Um, why are you glowing? 
I was overconfident, I'm afraid. Valserin always said I was too sure of my own abilities. I just assumed I'd be able to get back to the protection of the Resolute Anchor before I was unmade. Pity. I would have preferred a more heroic ending. I had to do something to get rid of Nocturnal's champion. At least for a little while. Beyond that, I really did hope that a moment outside the Anchor's protection wouldn't be fatal. Just something else you can tell Valserin I was wrong about. You can stop Nocturnal. I'd really rather not see you and the Knight wind up with this fate. And if all goes well, you can tell Valserin that... that I'm sorry. Now hurry! Nocturnal's Earl won't be gone long. I should be thanking you. You had no reason to trust me, yet you did. And you gave me a chance to see my wife. To reconcile with her, in a way. Now go and beat Nocturnal. I have faith in you. Tell her I'm going to go be with our daughter. Tell Val that we will... We will wait... for her. We should... we should keep moving. There's nothing more we can do here. Nocturnal's Realm. Gotta be nearing the top of this damn thing. We have to keep going. That's far enough. My mistress can't be interrupted. Her work is too important. Give me the damn Dawnbreaker back! Come and get it! Dawnbreaker was never intended for you. Uh, Meridia's magic is gone. The blade isn't yours anymore either. We'll see about that. Oh! Join Meridia in my eternal darkness. We are not dying like this. That worked. I mean, I mean, of, I mean, of course it worked. I just need a moment. <sighs> Nocturnal's Earl was wrong. Meridia's power, it's not gone. Her magic remains strong and vibrant. The vessel, the last light of Meridia. It's me. I finally understand everything Meridia told me. Her power, it's inside me. And with it, I can remove the corruption from Dawnbreaker. I can fill the relic with divine energy again.
Then this is even better. You can use the restored Dawnbreaker to save the world. I just won't be around to see it happen. I finally understand. I'm the vessel of Meridia, her champion. But you're the key to stopping Nocturnal and saving reality. I'm saying you've got this. Whenever a threat appears, you bring the champions together. You find a way to win. And I'll be at your side for this one final battle. Just not in the way I originally expected. I'm returning the last of Meridia's power to the Blade, so you can stop Nocturnal. I wouldn't do this for anyone else. Thank you. For everything. Crystal is almost whole. You're too late, mortal. Its defenses no longer keep me out. Are you here, my friend? You... you did it. I knew it. Transparent law. It's a hole again. I didn't think that was possible. And you stopped Nocturnal. You're back upon Somerset, my friend. The tower itself. It reformed. But... but where's Darien? And Blathen? Of course. When you restored the Tower Crystal, it most likely expelled Nocturnal back to her own realm. I'm a little concerned that I was able to walk in without a key. 
but we can figure that out later. Now tell me, what happened to Latham? Lathan. I'll... I'll mourn for Lathan later. I'm just glad he helped you. He would have made our daughter proud. For now, you have to tell Sotha Seal what happened. Then we can inform Somerset that the island, the world, is safe again. As I predicted, your efforts were successful. A slight chance is all probability requires. There is no such thing as impossible odds. You are proof of that. Was that Meridia's plan all along? Perhaps, perhaps not. Your perseverance paid off, however. You never gave up, even when the darkness was unbearable. And because of that, the Crystal Tower is safe again. Life and death, it's all part of the ongoing circle. As long as you remember them, they will never be forgotten. It took Nocturnal hundreds of years to put all the pieces of her plan into place. And you wiped it all out with a single thrust of the Dawnbreaker. There will be other plans, I'm sure. But this particular threat is over. Next. Every action we take can tip the balance of the flow of time. Bask in the moment and realize that you have done well, my mortal friend. You have saved the Crystal Tower, saved Somerset, saved reality itself. Even I could not have done better. One next? For now, I must attend to other matters. We still have work to do, my friend. I'm afraid we still have work to do. While the Crystal Tower is protected against Daedra, any mortal can now walk right through its gates. We must convince the Sapiarchs to gather allies in order to defend the crystal-like law. It will take an influence far stronger than you and I, of that I'm sure. We'll call a meeting of Somerset's most influential leaders. Perhaps, with such a force behind us, we can persuade the Sepiarchs to see reason. We've already seen the devastation that's possible when the tower falls into the wrong hands. And the recent attack by Nocturnal only reinforces the need for greater protection. I want you there to help plead our case. Will you join us? Go and tell Oriandra of my plan. She'll know which parties to contact. I'd also like to ask Sotha Seal to join us. His support would be extremely helpful to our cause. Honestly? I haven't yet had a moment to process all that happened. There's still so much to be done, and perhaps that's for the best. The time to grieve can wait. For now, we must ensure the welfare of Somerset. The Divines were in a good mood when they made this place. It's good to see you alive and well. Word has already spread about your daring exploits within the Crystal Tower. It's still a little hard to believe, truth be told. Of course, there's so much left to do. I already have a list as long as my arm. That doesn't sound good. Is there another crisis I have yet to be informed about? I'd almost rather deal with another crisis than try to convince the Sapiarchs. 
Still, it will be done. I'll even make sure to invite the Proxy Queen. Her palace should make for a suitable meeting place. Neutral ground and all that. Sotha Seal's in his study, preparing to depart. He never seems to stick around for very long. I suggest you hurry if you want to catch him. I'll meet you in front of the Proxy Queen's palace in Alinor. Meet me there after you talk to Sotha Seal. Here you are again. I thought such an outcome likely. The time has come for my departure. I've always felt a sense of peace in our tame, but also discomfort. A consistent dilemma within me, which seems to have only grown. I'll be glad to get back to the Clockwork City. There's much to do. While you confronted Nocturnal, I worked within the shadow of your efforts. Negotiations with both Clavicus Vile and Mafala were held, and a compromise was decided upon. The two have agreed to a compact, an end to their direct meddling. Knowing the nature of Daedra, I doubt that shall be the case. However, any direct interference within Nern should cease, while the terms are met, of course. As for Nocturnal, it seems she's returned to the shadows. Perhaps. She likely contemplates her next course of action even now, given such a defeat. It may be centuries before she makes another attempt. Then again, could be days. Such is the chaotic nature of the Daedric Princes. I must decline. Valserin may see me as an ally, but to Somerset, I am a foreign interloper. An enemy of the state. My participation would not be welcome. The need for my presence has come to an end. And so I must depart. And so the gears turn once more. Ever changing, yet ever the same. With you always in the center, it seems. I take no pleasure in such distractions from my work. Still, I would not dislike it if we spoke again. Farewell. I love cities. The rude people, the noise, the chaos. Is it strange that I find it comfortable? I have said the proxy queen is unable to hold a body a member of the civic order. How can Rigor negotiate peace? We must do something important going on to bring them out of hiding. Finally, you arrived. We were able to gather everyone together, but they've already started the meeting. Valserin tried to make them wait, but the Sapiarchs demanded to know what was happening. To be honest, not great. Even the Proxy Queen is hesitant to accept our request. As always, everyone's so worried about proper High Elf decorum that they refuse to see reason. I'm just not sure how we're going to win this one.
You can't make such demands. The Sapiocs are the keepers of the Crystal Tower. This is about more than the College of Sapiocs, Lana Teal. If Braz could intervene, perhaps we should hear from our newly arrived friend. We concur with Razumdar. Let us hear what the adventurer has to say. The Sapiocs recognize your bravery on our behalf in Lalandril and within the Crystal Tower, but there is nothing you can say that will alter our thinking on this matter. So Valserin claims, if this is true, the College shall institute new measures to protect the Tower. That is well within our capabilities. The Sigic Order is responsible for all that has happened. Why should I trust them now? And that's supposed to convince me that the very leader of the Sigic Order was compromised in such a manner. We Sapiarchs have protected the tower for centuries without incident. Why should I trust the Sigics now? Be that as it may, the Sapiarchs will continue to do as we always have. We shall protect the Crystal Tower. Entrusting that responsibility to anyone else is just far too dangerous a risk to take. That's your opinion. You are a newcomer. I have no reason to believe that you have Somerset's best interests in mind. For all I know, you and the Sigic Order wish to use the Crystal Tower for your own purposes. So time and time again, Raz thinks you should hear about these deeds. Oriandra, admit our guests now, yes? What are you up to, Razumdar? I will vouch for this adventurer. While I was blinded by prejudice and hate, their actions saved Shimmerine. Sapiok, you know me. My son rejected the Queen's decree and suffered the consequences. This newcomer saved Relenville. Finally, Raz must add his voice to the chorus. No one has served our Queen and our island as well as this adventurer, not even Raz. We have heard enough. We accept that the adventurer is trustworthy. Sapiark Larnatiel, listen to what they have to say. I apologize for my assumptions. It's clear you've done much good for Somerset and its people. The protection of the Crystal Tower has been the Sapiarch's duty for time immemorial. To change that now feels like we failed. I can't deny the truth of your words. Very well. Henceforth, the Sapiarchs will accept outside aid in order to best protect the Crystal Tower. I'll begin preparations immediately. However, I still refuse to allow the Sigic Order to participate. I promise we will work with the Proxy Queen to make sure the Crystal Tower remains safe. I'll begin preparations immediately. We'll even allow the Divine Prosecution and the Mage's Guild to participate in these efforts. Raz is sure there are many more details to work out, but for now, this one just wants a very strong drink. If you would wait a moment, my friend, I'd like to talk privately. Thank you for helping me win this last battle. While the Sigic Order will not be among those protecting the Crystal Tower, we will continue to observe from afar. And now, it's time for us to depart Somerset.
We never meant to take such a direct role in events. We're observers, watchers. We lend a hand, guide fate, but never directly shape it. Besides, I need to return to Arteum and take up the mantle of Right Master. At least for a little while. On an interim basis until we get beyond this crisis and can make a decision for the future. In the meantime, I want to atone for what the Right Master and Lathan did. I owe Somerset that much, at least. You're attuned to Arteum and have a connection to the Sigic Order now. The portal will always be open for you, and you'll always be welcome on our hidden island. Razendar, remove your furry seat from our throne. After all Raz has done for Queen and Country, you would deny him this small comfort? Why Cousin Iren tolerates you, they'll never understand. Hmm. Raz could get used to such a seed. Metaphorically speaking, of course. This one would prefer a throne with far more padding. But enough of such talk. Today we celebrate your victory. From newcomer to savior of Somerset. Quite the feat, yes? Raz thought of many different plans once he heard of this meeting. He is glad the first turned out so well. His other plans, well, there is no need to dwell on such unsavory details. This one never doubted you could do it, Five Claw. Actually, Raz may have doubted you a few times, or many times, but he apologizes for that. After all, you have now proven yourself most capable. And, of course, no heroic deed is complete without a reward. Raz did indeed. On behalf of Queen Irene, this is for you. Ironic how Somerset was saved by one of the newcomers it so distrusts. This is a good lesson for the High Elves, yes. Maybe now they'll realize that change is not so bad after all. Raz, baby. Enjoy yourself, my friend. Raz certainly plans to. Our throne, Razendar. We would have it back now. So tense, your majesty. Must be this uncomfortable throne. Perhaps Raz could suggest a most comfortable cushion upon which you could sit. Such a cushion is much too lumpy for our tastes, cat. <laughs> 